Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Why they want to tear me down? Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgulicious Fresh, eh, Virgulicious, eh, what's up cousin, what's popping, did you miss me, <laughs> hey boo, hey, hey boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, I'm Mocha, also if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out, I cuss, make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depends on where the hell this energy going to take us. So you guys flow with me, my babies. Okay? If cussing does not work for, for you, you got to get the hell up out of here now. This is my shit. All right? Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, you guys, the support, your patience. Thank you so much, Earth Signs. I truly appreciate you guys from the most humblest space ever. Also, um, if you'd like to get a personal reading, that information will be found within the description, you guys. I am taking it slower than John fucking Legend, okay? I'm taking it very fucking slow. So, with that said, you guys, I'm only scheduling no more than like three readings a day. So, please hit me up if you would need for, um, if you would need to contact me when it comes to scheduling. Also, alright, this message ain't finna resonate with everybody as it is general, alright? Take what does resonate and leave the rest for someone who fits that motherfucking shoe. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass is gonna fall trying to wear it if that ain't your story. <laughs> Let me apologize to you guys also for the audio last time uh, as well as the video because it was cutting the fuck up. But y'all did not complain. Y'all ain't say nothing ugly, Virgos. It cut off on your part, y'all. Thank you. And I'm sorry, okay? From the bottom of my little old heart. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into your September messages. Um, and we're going to start off with Virgo since it's your birthday. Uh, it's your birthday. Uh, bad, bad contest. You in first place. Who in first place? Virgo, you in first place. Uh, bad, bad contest. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, cousin. Happy birthday. Cousin, happy birthday to Virgos. What I find is, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, cousin. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I hope that you guys have a blessed and prosperous as well as safe, all right, birthday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my earth signs for the month of September? You guys, I'm going to start off with a general crystal message for you guys, okay? Because collective, and it's just a collective message. But as I'm channeling currently, collectively, you guys, I definitely feel the energy of a lot of creativity, a lot of stability energy. I feel that the focus is going to be on building, building your legacy is what I'm hearing. For some of you all, you're tapping very heavily into ancestry or ancestral energies, okay? I am picking up on the energy of like some type of alchemic blend or some type of faded connection as well, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of some of you all. Um, don't be your don't be your worst enemy when it comes to attaching yourself to outcomes, earth signs, because I feel like for some of you all, there's a need for me to tell you to get out your own way. There's more than one way of doing something, not doing uh, well, well, accomplishing a particular or getting to a getting to a particular outcome. Huh, let me grab this soda light right now, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of like distraction. Some of you all may feel as if you're not able or you're not open to. Um, you're not able to build what it is that you're trying to build or there's a sense of procrastination due to distract distractions this could have to do with your uh with your external energy as well people around you within your energy okay some of you all some of y'all are procrastinating some type of ending possibly with a fire sign or a water sign cancer pisces scorpio i do see some of you guys taking your power back in the month of september especially when it comes to people projecting their energy onto you there's a lot of energy around self-expression for my earth sign some of you all are needing 
to stand up and speak up for yourselves okay some of you all I'm also picking up on a lot of paranormal activities a lot of you all are coming into the gift of mediumship during this time and I feel like your ancestors are like on your ass they're on your hip during this time I feel like for some of you all there's a need for me to tell you also or confirm for you that you are not alone some of you all have gifted children um, I do feel a lot of ancestral messages or some type of confirmations coming from your children please uh, make time and make balance for your children because some of you all especially if you have a water sign child I feel like this child is very sensitive during this time your children could also be, uh, be being very clingy okay I did pick up on the energy of some of you all procrastinating due to um, holding on to some type of emotion regarding death or holding on to some type of emotion around uh, death okay uh, so my condolences for some of you all who have recently lost someone it does feel matriarchal father figure okay um, I'm also picking up on the energy of legalities paperwork and inheritances for some of you all okay or there being a need for you to speak up for yourself because some of you all are finding out that you got people stealing from you and your energy others of you could have recently dealt with some type of furlough uh, or being furloughed from the company or some of you all are finding out that your company is getting ready to close and I feel like there's a lot of worry or paranoia around stability stop this is forcing your ass into making that damn decision that you know that you've been procrastinating okay all right so that fell so it's gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and jump into our crystal messages collectively all right spirit what messages do you have for my Sun Moon Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers the North Node and the Mercury for Capricorn Taurus Virgo as a collective for the first half of September what messages do you have for my earth signs you guys got carnelian creativity honey your vision all right focusing on the vision so y'all know I don't water down these damn crystal messages any type of oracle messages I don't remix them up because I read them as is all right and for some of you all if you have not already followed my Instagram where there is weekly messages over there please go do so at mocha underscore love underscore tarot it's weekly juice over there all right so you guys got carnelian i'm gonna hold it up as i read it to you number seven i'm also picking up a lot of auspicious a lot of a lot of mysterious energy auspicious energy i'm also picking up on a lot of ancestral connection some of y'all are very in tune and very connected with your higher with the higher aspect of yourself some of you all could also be going through a space of procrast or being in a space of procrastination due to some type of some type of tie to anxiety. And some of you all are really battling battling with some type of 12th house energy around the uh, around the psyche. Some of y'all could also have Pisces rising, is what I'm hearing. Alright. Carnelian. Carnelian protects against glamour spells. Envy and the evil eye. Bringing good fortune to the wearer, it prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause precipitate action. I'm sorry. Yeah, precip precipitate action. Ooh, y'all, honey. For a self-understanding, you have the ability to remain calm during disputes and self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from your inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sexual drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Directed towards creativity and raising the kundalini. Use of divination. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. Beware, a, sorry, beware of a charismatic person. All right. For a healing insight, sufficient vitamins and minerals support your metabolism for optimum well-being. The frequency of this stone is earthy to high, depending on the clarity in which you seek. The chakra that it governs has to do with the base and the sacral. The timing is very, well, it's very useful for Taurus, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Scorpio. And it's um, actually used for a soul path of expressing your soul vitality, okay? So some of you all, I'm definitely here and live in the moment. Live in the moment. Some of you all are so focused on the future that you're missing the beauty of the beauty as well as the blessings that are right before you. And some of you all are needing to believe in order to see. I feel like your belief is actually the foundation is going to be the foundation of uh, your vision is what I'm hearing vision being very important okay some of y'all I definitely felt this energy of harbored emotions as well some of y'all are in this space of releasing old harbored emotions I definitely feel like this could also be connected to some type of reconciliation 
with some type of um, very, very, very strong soul tie that goes that some of you guys have a strong soul tie that goes back to something about Egypt. Okay. So give me some advice. What's your advice card from the Soul Lessons Journey cards for the Earth Signs? Peace, baby. Choose peace. I am a being of love and I release all negativity. I'm a being of love and I release all negativity, flipping your ills into lessons, being grateful for where you are, being grateful for where you've come, actually acknowledging your soul journey, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you all to let go of worries. At the bottom of the deck, we got, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, okay? So some of you all, could. there's a need for you all to let go of worry and really focus on or come from a space of faith not fear earth signs okay because i definitely pick i'm picking up on this energy of um someone needing to but you guys needing to believe in yourself all right so we're gonna pull this out individually we're gonna start with virgo can someone please be a doll and time stamp this please and thank you so much i love you long time all right virgo let me so listen call for my virgo sun moon rising venus north node mercury Cross watches September Virgo. 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 But it's a soul lesson for Virgo. Okay. Virgo, you guys got three that fail. You guys got relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Off the rip, I immediately heard reciprocity. Virgo, some of you all are really in this space of weighing, that, weighing up the pros and the cons when it comes to where it is that you, uh, where it is that you invest your energy. If you're not receiving the same damn energy that you're giving, for some of you all, I definitely see you actually um, secluding yourself from some type, some type of some particular relationship or some type of association. Some of you guys could be letting the old. That, well, there's a need for you all. The advice here is to let the old shit away. Okay. You guys also got friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for for a reason. Sorry. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. For some of you all, I am immediately hearing reasons and seasons, okay? Some of you all, there is a lot of activity within the crown chakra. A lot of you all are really getting a lot of downloads or creative downloads when it comes to what it is or how it is that you are to navigate in order to move you forward, okay? I definitely feel like some of you guys could also be collaborating with another person in the month of September. And there's a need for you not to try to control how things actually pan out. I'm, there's a big focus on the external around you, Virgo. This could actually be your worries or a lot of you all are worried about some of the people who are experiencing karmic, uh, some type of karmic energy in your atmosphere. Lastly, you guys got surrender. I, re I release my need to control. I release my need to control. I am hearing procrastinating an ending. Some of you all, there's some type of unexpected ending or some type of unexpected termination is what I'm hearing. And for some of you all, I feel like you felt it coming intuitively, but it's catching you off guard in the month of September. For some of you all, this is the need to try to control the flows of some type of partnership or control another person when it comes to being on your... Okay. Some of you all have outgrown some type of friendship or partnership and you're feeling guilty for having to let this go. Some of you all have already energetically wanted to let go of a, or been intuitively guided to let go of some type of partnership. But I feel like some of y'all feel as if you could change, alter, or shift, shift the particular dynamic to control an outcome. And I feel like there's some type of power moment or some type of realization in the month of September. All right. Let's clarify. That's relationships here. Three more messages do you have for my Virgos? Moon rising Venus. Oh, yeah. Some of you all, there's a need for you to set boundaries, speak up. Some of y'all, yeah. Some of y'all have another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or this could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like there's a lot of love for this individual, but someone wants to control how another person puts themselves out there. There could also be issues around insecurities when it comes to dealing with either an earth or an air sign. I feel like the relationship could be victorious, but for some of you all, there's this need of trying to control how someone responds. Or I feel like there could have also been a lot of gaslighting energy here as well, like someone, when they don't get their damn way, someone emotionally shuts the fuck down to make the other person because someone plays on someone's traumas here and you guys are coming into recognition or coming into recognizing that in the month of september okay i'll come here yeah and i see a lot of you guys moving forward i feel like there will be some type of expression of truth 
that's going to either move the relationship, either move you away from a particular person, or that's moving you, uh, moving your relationship forward. I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all are in relationships and getting mad at the individual or feeling as if you have to hold your emotions to yourself in order to keep the peace, okay? I am also feeling this energy of some of y'all could be connecting with an air sign that could also be connected to either a fire sign or a water sign, but I feel like whoever this air sign is, this individual... This individual wants you all to themselves, Virgo. I feel like for some of you all, you could be single and this person could be in some type of committed relationship. But I feel like this individual, and you could also be connecting with this individual in your dream space. Or in this, or coming from, or connecting with this individual in, in from an astral space. Some of you all have to choose between two people as well. Someone, I feel like, serves your material needs. But some of you all, you're dealing with someone who actually satisfies you sexually. But I feel like you have, you feel spiritually disconnected from this individual. And whoever it is that you have this practical relationship, I feel like some of you guys are bored, all right? Some of you all could also be finding out that you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They could also have been playing some type of games when it comes to money. Someone has been trying to make you feel as if you need them. I'm literally healing that. I'm literally hearing that. Like, what would you do without me being here? You need me, okay? Some of you all could also be standing up to a narcissistic energy. This could be some type of matriarchal energy, a mother, a sister. But some of you all are standing up to a woman in your life. I feel like someone tries to, someone purposely try, uh, intent. Someone purposely tries to prevent you from moving forward. I'm also seeing if you're going to be collaborating with someone, if this person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it's a go. For Virgo. Yeah. Some of you all, there, some of y'all could be needing to set boundaries when it comes to being friends or having some type of co-parenting relationship with the father of your children okay for some of you all this could also have to do with some type of collaboration to work with another individual strongly an Aquarius a Taurus or an Aries individual I feel like there's a need for you to set boundaries around what it is that you will or will not deal with because I feel like for some of you all somebody is really playing on your compassion here others of you are actually moving forward when it comes to your purpose and what it is that you want to do and put out into the world some of you all are spiritual teachers. I am picking up on a lot of alchemic energy, uh, energy. I'm also picking up on the energy of like quantum leaping, quantum physics, quantum jumping. Some of you guys could also be actually like shifting or dropping a major. I feel like if you delay some type of start date to go to school online or go to some type of college, this feels like an institution. Some of you guys could be changing your majors. I am also picking up on a lot of holistic healing energy. Some of you guys could actually be um, into getting into like gardening, gardening or botany at this time. All right. Yeah. Some of y'all, there, there is some type of truth or clarity coming out regarding some type of gossip. I'm also seeing someone who could have been very passive aggressive with their emotions or very passive around their feelings someone wants to open up to you but i feel like this individual doesn't want to be vulnerable and put themselves in a space of being rejected or being able to be rejected all right some of you guys feel the same way about possibly a pisces or a cancer here i feel like some of you all have new love on the horizon but i feel like you're afraid to let go of someone from the past some of y'all feel as if you're going to miss out on something from somebody who didn't show you the dang shit virgo Okay, um, I definitely feel like the advice here, you already know it is to move forward, but I feel like some of you guys are holding on to a situation in hopes that it change. But the individual who you holding on to, baby, this person doesn't want growth, and you the high priestess. Spirit is saying, Listen, that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're doing. Some of you all intuitively know that um, an air sign is getting ready to move forward. I feel like somebody has could have been trying to prevent this movement forward, but someone is moving on to become the Pretty much to connect with the highest version of themselves, all right? Virgo. Yeah. Some of you all are in this space of healing, all right? For others of you, there could also be... Somebody wants to reconcile with you after some type of information came out about a third-party situation. This could definitely involve a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone wants you to choose sides between them and another Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone is in love with two people, but I feel like they're afraid of letting the other individual go due, due to history. I'm also getting this energy of... <sighs> Some of you all could be taking care of a sick mother. And this could actually be throwing off your flows of how you make your money. I'm also picking up on an online business passive income. 
some of you guys could also be um somebody gonna find out here that they have to like change their diet up as well okay so let me get some advice here for my virgos virgos don't be afraid to start something new and don't be afraid of the unknown some of y'all have whole businesses that you're being divinely guided to start and i feel like you stand in this space of looking at only what could go wrong but baby what could go right all right some of you all are perfectionists and it's causing a space of procrastination where you're not able to get things done all right because you're being very hard on yourself the advice here for some of you all is to move forward and be open to new love because I feel like in a current relationship or a current partnership that you've been holding on to you feel as if you're the only one carrying all the emotional weight to make things move forward all right and for some of you all some of y'all need to needing to open up and be open and receptive to help because I feel like there is someone new in your life that wants to help you and really want to show you that you don't have to be or do things alone but I feel like for some of you all you're not being you're not open to giving this person a chance and it looks very fucking stable okay I also see an apology coming in from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn this person could also be giving you something tangible for your birthday as well but I definitely feel like you guys are moving away from emotional things that just no longer serves you at this time okay so that's what I have for you, my beautiful Virgos. I pray that this resonates, my baby. Sending you peace, blessings, love, and light. All right? So let's move on to my Taurus. Taurus. Ooh. Gang, what's poppin', baby? What's going on with you guys? For the month of September. For Audien Lee Taurus. They can't stop you, even if they stopped you, all right? I'm also hearing for Taurus, some of you guys have someone on the fence. I'm, I'm literally hearing cherishes. Um, I'm feeling really unappreciated, taking my love for granted, baby. And I don't know how much more I can take from you. You don't do the things you used to do. You don't even say I love you too. And lately, I've been feeling, feeling unappreciated. Okay, so Taurus, either you or another person is feeling as if they're putting in all of this hard effort, all of this hard work, and another person does not appreciate their efforts, okay? I'm also picking up on it, nothing being good enough, all right? Nothing being good enough. Some of you guys are starting some type of online business. I'm strongly picking up on beauty and fashion. Some of you guys could actually be um, doing some type of, um, some of you guys could also be mobile techs. Taurus, I'm strongly picking up on the energy as well that some of you guys have someone someone that you could be connected to. This person has children with another individual that is really stalking your life, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy of someone. This could also be some type of uh, obsessive energy, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone has this energy that if I can't have you, no one can, okay? It's funny. The envy card fail for you guys. Um, <laughs> as I said, I definitely feel a lot of um, energy around starting something new but keeping it to yourself some of you all have a lot of distractive energy this could be your children or there's a need for you to find a um, find a balance between um your children as well as your online business or your at home business okay or find the flow i'm also picking up on the energy of some some of you guys could also be having this conflict around virtual school or your children going to school virtually some of you guys could also be finding out that you're pregnant, bringing children into the world. Congratulations to um, Taurus, Mother Love, kids, honey. All right. So, Spirit, give me a message for Taurus during this time. Some of you all, there's a need for you to um, also eat green leafy vegetables. There's a lot of heart chakra activity going on with Taurus. I feel like for some of you all, you could be letting go or choosing to let go of some type of heartache or heartbreak from the past, okay? Or some type of strong soul tie that you uh, could have had with another individual in a previous life. You're choosing to end, or you have you have a purpose, or you want you hold on. you have a purpose of or a purpose to. Um, sever that contract in this life some of you guys are karmic justice and you sitting around procrastinating some type of or delaying some type of ending when you are this individual's karma some of you guys don't want to be the bad guy spirit give me a message for taurus give me a soul lessons journey for taurus for the month of september taurus summer rising venus north node mercury thank you okay some of you are okay so you guys got doubt i released the need to know all of the answers okay 
there is this insecurity issue that I'm picking up on when it comes to starting something new some of you all are needing to put yourself out there and stop seeing fear before you actually see victory for some of you all you're looking at all the things that can go wrong in a particular situation but spirit is saying focus on the focus on what could go right my Tauruses because some of you all there's a need for you to have more faith all right for some of you all, this also has to do with expanding uh, expanding what it is. If you already have a business, this is all about expansion in the services in which you offer, all right? Some of y'all need to work on that motherfucking website because y'all are really procrastinating, Taurus. Some of you all also are energy healers. I do pick up on some type of activation of energy within the, uh, like around the hands. So some of you all may be experiencing like burning hands or um, some type of tingling within your hands as well as the crown chakra. You're healers. Some of you all are accessing some type of ancient knowledge or wanting to share some type of knowledge. Somebody's working on exposing the government. I feel like there's fear around um, their safety or what could happen. But Spirit is saying you're a whistleblower. You protect it, baby. All right? You're a royal. You're ancient. All right? The la uh, next message you guys got was humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. For some of you all, somebody could also, some of y'all could also be having some type of psychedelic experience or wanting to try mushrooms during this time, Taurus. I'm picking that up as well. There's also a lot of um, interest in actually assessing the Akashic Records is what I'm picking up on. Some of you guys also could also be starting some type of like claim regarding someone stealing your information or stealing your content. I'm also picking up on a lot of envious energy with you and a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are reconciling with someone to bring closure to some type of situation, possibly involving a Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, another Taurus, or an Aquarius individual. For some of you all, I definitely feel like there's a, walk, a water sign walking away, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person feels as if they give more to a relationship than you do, or you may be feeling this about this water sign. But I definitely feel like Spirit is wanting you guys. Like some of you all are really focusing on reconnecting with someone in a situation where you find yourself having to carry all of the damn weight of the burden. And I feel like Spirit is really wanting you to really focus on your value, self-worth, what it is that you put into situations. Because I feel like some of you all are putting in way more than what it is is that you're getting back all right i definitely feel like some of you guys also yeah some of y'all there's a water sign cancer pisces scorpio strong emphasis on scorpio this person is a hoe okay somebody either you or another person feels like the other person is a hoe there is a lot of love here and both people want to reconcile but so, there's a party here that's not hopeful all right i definitely feel like some of you all that could be dealing with a capricorn um, strong strong emphasis of Capricorn someone is giving somebody an ultimatum to choose between a Capricorn and a Leo during this time or this could be you I'm also picking up on someone actually having the courage to drop a situation because it's not it's not adding to them financially some of you all are letting go of a burden. Some of you all are being enlightened regarding someone's manipulation when it comes to money and movement forward. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces that has a, that's hell bent on holding your ass back, all right? There could also be arguments with a Pisces during this time. I feel like someone wants to keep somebody stuck and trapped because they don't have anything that they can hold on to or to call their own. So someone would rather see you not flourish, all right? <clears throat> Some of you guys could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a need for you guys, or some of you all are wanting to work things out and move towards possibly an Aries or a Leo here to work something out or offer some type of an apology. But I feel like someone's going to be closed off to it after some type of truth is exposed. Somebody could have been talking shit about another person and that information is coming out now. I feel like someone's, someone's expressing to another person, listen, motherfucker, I know you was talking shit. And I also know that your intention is that you're coming back to be financially secure when it comes to the things that I'm building and you can't replan your damn securities around my motherfucking pocket. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is afraid to be by themselves because this person has a hard time obtaining stability and I feel like every time you reconcile with this individual, this individual is very karmic to your money, honey, okay? I'm also picking up on, yeah, some of y'all are moving forward without telling anybody you're keeping things to yourself when it comes to some type of uh, sexual chemistry or sexual relationship or some type of uh, passionate relationship that you have with a fire sign. For some of you all, you're setting boundaries with the Sagittarius during this time. This could definitely be someone who you have children with, but you're not allowing this person to come in your life and make you a sex toy. You know that you deserve more and you're going to go get that, all right? For some of you all, I do see some type of loan being approved for some of you all. 
This could also be some type of positive news regarding a move or a vehicle, something tangible that you can see. Congratulations, good shit, Taurus. For some of you all, I'm also seeing do not worry about some type of eviction notice. Some of you guys are on the fence about worrying about if you're going to have to move and really kind of... You don't want some type of move or something to catch you off guard. I do see help here being available, but you need to open your damn mouth and stop being so damn prideful. Some of y'all intuitively know you got to cut that damn Sagittarius off and stand your ground with this individual because someone is only coming back to keep you from moving forward. Because whoever this person is, they thought that they had you wrapped around their finger and somebody not with it. Taurus, I also see that this could be your ass. We're dealing with a water sign. Somebody is not with the shits, okay? Give me some closing out advice closing out advice for Taurus. All right, yeah. Take things slowly, especially here. Yeah, some of you guys, you're being advised to focus on the things in which you're trying to build. Focus on your creative ventures. Focus on that new business. Focus on getting that damn website done and stop trying to help everybody else who don't want to help their damn self, Taurus. Okay? That is your justice for some of you all. You're cutting off a damn Libra during this time and I feel like this. somebody else, some, some of y'all dealing with a Libra that's trying to avoid an ending or you with this individual but somebody's mind is already on ready, set, go. Somebody is stringing someone's, he's stringing someone along emotionally until they get they shit in order as far as all they ducks in a row to hit the dough on somebody's ass okay so this is what hopefully that this hopefully this resonates my Taurus is and also Taurus uh, lastly I'm picking up on be very cautious when it comes to overindulgence during this time Taurus women do not walk away from your drink at any type of gathering or social event because some of y'all have someone very obsessive with your energy this could be someone that you know but you have not conversed with but I feel as if you can feel it and spirit is really cautioning you about overindulging during this time or for that matter walking away from your drink I am picking it up all right I love how my Taurus is Capricorn what's popping hey boo hey <laughs> You guys, um, off the rip for the month of September, I definitely felt the energy of to tell my Capricorns, focus, focus, focus. I feel like there's a blur on your focus. I feel like for some of you all, you have one foot in the game and one foot out the game. This could also be someone within your energy of some uh, or a type of some type of relationship or dynamic or connection with you all. I also put, pick up the energy also that be very careful about who it is that you tell your business to, especially if you're waiting on some type of resources or finances to come back to you. I feel like some of you all, there is someone who's wanting to exit exit or get out of your energy but someone's waiting on you for you someone's waiting for another person to re to receive something all right some of y'all are definitely dealing with someone who is a taker. I literally heard Sagittarius Virgo Leo. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the individual who, Capricorn, some of you guys need to change your password. Some of y'all are dealing with an individual who is very obsessively stalking you. I feel like someone is, yeah, some of y'all could be receiving a bunch of calls from different numbers. Someone wants to reconcile with you, and they don't know how to come forward with their feelings. I feel like this person was very manipulative in the past. Someone didn't take accountability for their actions, and they always try to make it seem as if everything that was done wrong in the relationship was your fault. I feel like some of you all are needing to take your power back from a, from a particular individual. Some of you guys also are needing to let go of control issues. I am feeling the energy of someone trying to manipulate or come in between a relationship. This could definitely be external, like a mother figure. It feels uh, maternal, so this could be a grandmother or a mother. Some of you guys also could be in this... Okay, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge it. I didn't want to, but I'm going to. I, I don't like talking about this. Capricorn, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who could be struggling with their health. I feel like some of you guys are going to have to make a decision to make a sacrifice to either uh, bring someone into the home or uh, actually make some type of major move to help someone in their home. This feels strong, matriarchal, okay? Someone could also be dealing with kid. Um, I heard kidney stones. Some of you guys are needing to make the damn decision decision to stop smoking cigarettes. Or could be choosing to stop smoking cigarettes. I'm also picking up on this fasting energy. Some of you guys, some of you all could be fasting for spiritual clarity of the sorts as well. I'm also picking up on some type of contract or collaboration as well or wanting to make some type of offer. This could be around music or some type of contract around expression. This could have to do with some type of uh promotional contract or some type of marketing contract as well I'm hearing events coordinator I'm also hearing uh, mobile shift 
mobile chef. Some of you guys could be wanting to go to culinary school. I'm also picking up on a makeup artist as well or wanting to uh, go into some type of also holistic healing. Some of you guys are needing to let go of some type of harbor resentment towards a mother figure or a father figure. I am picking up on this energy of forgiving your parents. I'm hearing whistleblowers. Some of y'all needed to speak up for yourself. You are the change in which you're looking for, okay? But Spirit, give me a soul lessons journey message for my Capricorns for the month of September. Okay? You guys got two that fail. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I feel like some of you guys... There is some type of illusion falling away when it comes to your connection with a particular individual. I strongly feel like for some of you all, you have you find yourself overly given to situations to be validated by a person who is playing on your compassion and playing on your trauma around abandonment as well as self-validation, okay? I'm also picking up on this energy of someone not really being supportive. Some of you all are hurt because there's someone in your energy who you always support, but maybe this person is not really supporting you in the way that you would like them to. The energy is not being returned or reciprocated evenly. And some of you guys are just choosing to see things as they are. I'm also picking up on a major ending or some type of major tower moment that's going to assist you when it comes to uh, moving forward. When it, when it comes to, I'm sorry, moving forward financially. Some of you are also in the month of September. There is this return type energy. So I definitely feel like some of you guys could be receiving some type of retirement rule. Some type of return... Uh, some type of return on something that was either overly paid or someone be careful of your account. Someone may even take something twice during this time. You may have to dispute that as well. The next card you guys pulled was indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Again, some of you guys are going back and forth, back and forth regarding making a damn decision when it comes to um, a particular outcome. For some of you all, you're dealing with someone where you have the ability, you have the will, you have the drive, you have the want and the desire. Hold on, y'all. Well, you think I got some meat for you, huh? I'm recording. I was trying to... Yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. But <clears throat> some of you guys are dealing with a situation where you've done everything in which you can to try and make a particular situation or you try to help someone to the best of your ability and some of you guys are washing your hands with a particular situation, person, place, a thing. I'm also picking up on this energy of family secrets or some type of exposure coming out regarding some type of deception that was done around paperwork in the past. This could also be... Um, Somebody could have also conspired against you of working together, especially because there's a lot of, um, I'm picking up on energy of like lawsuits. Some of you guys could be in some type of open or have some type of open lawsuit. I'm also here in custody. Someone is also wanting to reconcile uh, with someone to avoid paying child support as well. Even though this person is living a whole different, a whole nother life with someone else. Some of you guys also are dealing with someone who is indecisive about leaving a relationship due to their stability factor. But I feel like whoever this individual is, some of y'all could also be finding out uh, finding out about someone's sexuality during this time, okay? Some of y'all are strongly dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, and this person is finessing you, Capricorn. Spirit, what message do you have for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Mercury for the month of September? Capricorn, what message do you have for Capricorn? I definitely feel like some of you guys could be, yes, yeah, somebody needs to choose between a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a, um, or an air sign, Gemini, Leap, Aquarius. For some of you all, some of y'all are going to find out that you, you could, you could be the high priestess or some of y'all are dealing with a very intuitive or very psychic energy. Someone knows that another individual have not cut off someone. Someone's trying to be problematic in another person's relationship here. Okay. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone giving someone some type of ultimatum when it comes to making a decision between relationships. So this could also be someone trying to interfere in your personal relationship. All right. I'm also picking up on the energy of some, yeah. Some of y'all could also be let go of from a job. I am hearing furloughed. 
but I feel like this is setting you up for you guys to actually work up work on what it is that you've been divinely guided to do so I feel like some of you guys are having to get away from that space of saying that you don't have enough time but you're making time in order to create your dreams okay I'm also picking up on the energy of some of y'all need to set boundaries and this is also this could also go for Taurus as well some of y'all could have Capricorn and Taurus in your chart some of y'all are really needing to set boundaries around your price whatever it is it's something about your business and people taking advantage of your kindness i feel like some of y'all this could also be family members some of y'all people are needing to respect your craft respect your price even if this is you creating some type of family price and your price a lot of y'all have people in your energy friends family members who are who feel entitled to your services because of their connection and i feel like these people are trying to manipulate you or make you feel bad for setting boundaries during this time okay I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of y'all could be finding out about some type of third party relation or third party connection that's connected to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but someone here is being illuminated regarding two fire signs. I'm also picking up on the energy of someone with a daughter. There could be some type of family secret coming out regarding paternity as well of a child. This could be an adult child, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could involve another fire sign, a Leo particularly, and an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like someone's afraid of their damn secrets coming to the forefront. Someone's afraid of being judged here, okay? I'm also picking up on the energy. Some of y'all are dealing with a Pisces who's going to tell you that they're bisexual. Some of you guys also are feeling a defeated or left out or feeling as if you're closed out or you've been closed out with some type of connection to a cancer. I feel like someone moved away and I feel like there's a lot of pride here. Someone wants to apologize, but they're prideful. Someone doesn't want to admit that they're wrong. I feel like for some of you all, they could also be finding out. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Gemini. You can have a family with this person, but I feel like someone secretly wants to end the connection. I feel like they give very little to it because this person is afraid of speaking some type of truth. I feel like this person is holding on to a lot of secrets and they feel as if they hold or they carry most of the relationship on their back by themselves. I feel like someone is planning a move away. Someone's planning on moving away. They're on the fence about it. One minute they're in, one minute they're out. But I feel like for some of you all, if you're losing something, it's merely making space for something new to begin in your life. Some of y'all are letting go of a connection that has literally been a where you've been a karmic crush of this person. Some of you guys are done with the obligation of taking care of somebody's every damn thing or, 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 or making yourself responsible for someone's, for every move that somebody makes. Some of y'all are tired of thinking for people, okay? So give me an outcome. Give me some advice and outcome for Cappies for the month of September. Outcome and advice. Outcome and advice. Yeah, some of you guys, some of y'all need to let y'all down wild down when it comes to dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or someone who uh, is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like some of you guys are overthinking it because someone doesn't really open up and express themselves like you feel that they should. The Spirit is saying everybody ain't motherfucking psychic, honey. You have to communicate in order to understand the person. I feel like there's a need for you all to not jump to conclusions in a particular matter as well because I do feel that someone's ex is trying to come in and be a damn disturbance because this person needs this other individual financially here. I feel like some of you all have not been wanting to see some type of ending come to the forefront but it's opening up other doors for you where you've been limited in a particular situation or connection with another individual and I feel like be very wary of that motherfucker Sagittarius. Someone knows that you're about to come into some type of major blessing or that you're about to come into some money. Some of y'all could have even recently lost a family member and someone could have reconnected with you who had a connection to your family and this person but I feel like someone's coming back for their own damn intentions of gaining some type of financial stability off of your ass and spirit is saying with you being, with you being enlightened of this it's time to move forward okay you could definitely have a child with this individual a son specifically all right so this is what i have for you guys for my earth signs for the month of september i pray that you guys like the video i love you long time i'm sending you all wealth health abundance and many blessings and if you need a personal reading again that information can be found within the description box below love y'all gang bye y'all